so much to Peter Palmer for the beautiful song, our music towards, to, towards that song. Mm. Thank you very much. That song reminds us that kindness is very, very important for our inner being and contentment and peace in our heart. That is the most biggest of all virtues, kindness, because uh, kindness is always pure and kindness is um, a quality what our beautiful animals have and birds. 
the void said here animals around loving us loving us they love us unconditionally reminding us to slow down and learn how to enjoy the moment like they do if you look at the cat you can see that she's not worrying about her past and neither she's worrying about her future she lives in that particular moment and she looks at you with these beautiful eyes and she melts your soul correct and so the same thing the dogs do it's just incredible they really remind us for us on the planet earth how to calm down and have inner peace in our hearts and don't worry about money because animals don't worry about their money mm, can you hear yeah, yeah, they did not yeah. swap their souls for the sake of money they're not compromising anything what they shouldn't do for the sake of money so this money they're not living in the money world you see and therefore you're straight away in heaven yeah, yeah. yes so it's it here they're always kind and they came from kind world of love and peace and then that this song suggests us so you be kinder and gentler than them so you need to learn how to be kinder than the, all your animals can be kind yeah. because you're a human being you have to be acquiring um, more kindness than what they have and more gentler and kinder and then all your dreams will come true and your heart will be filled with peace mm. and wisdom and that's what the concept of the song and they said here kind words and actions purify your soul embrace true you so it means be yourself and be kind even when people provoke you not to be kind you still be kind even people provoke you to hate you do not you still be kind and you just simply don't be involved with these people that's why we talk about how it's important to separate people from right and wrong if they don't make you feel comfortable if they make you feel stressed you should not be with them why because they'll take all your peace away they'll provoke you and mm. then they'll make you um you will feel afterwards not very happy so this song suggests us that we should look forward and shining in the dark so our face should not be facing in the ground like that because we're not in jail yet like in jail when there's a law like to look always on the floor you have to do it yes in jail. Mm -hmm. but when we're now free and we've got so much to see we've got the birds are singing we've got trees are good there's a mountain there's a hill there's like sunshine of course our face go up and also why our face should go up good for our head number one and we can see people yeah, in their eyes right, yes can you yeah. see because if you have mobile in your hand and if your mind goes always down here you would actually looking down in fact mobile lures you to go down into the down position so your head is always going down and therefore you have a big pressure on your spine mm. from here you will not be having much wisdom because your head is always down you're like suppressed uh, you know like in jail look down don't look up you're not allowed that you're not like so in this condition i can't sing a song you see imagine if i sing a song mm. uh be happy and everything you do do you believe me can you see when i look down like imagine here's my mobile and um would you believe me would, would you believe me that do you believe me no, no, no. exactly no, no so, what, at all. Yeah. Yeah. so yeah. when we look down <clears throat> at our mobile and a good beautiful person with us you see we do not have contact because of that mobile and we look down so even when they have mobile down and you look down or with mobile down you still look down so basically uh, mobile provokes us to look down why because it's here's a beautiful picture and you like him want to look at it you see and then meanwhile you do not see the beauty around you see that world is absent from you you're missing it right now in that moment but what kids and animals do they actually see it right now the whole thing they, they see the big pictures why they have big eyes like that and they're all round and they can see you from everywhere and they can see the dangers already there or the danger there they're like oh look you know alert and we also should be alert because maybe somebody come to disturb our peace correct and we should be prepared and so therefore alertness um, is a great quality of animals too they're showing us you must be alert because maybe somebody going to do something very bad or maybe somebody calling you for help like a kitten may be uh, somewhere there behind the fence stuck Correct. The only way you can look down, and we can get away with it, is when we go shopping at the supermarket. Sometimes you have to look down to get what you want to eat. Yes, <laughs> but, but I'm saying the general <clears throat> idea that you will not be... Um, some people think that when people tilt their head up like that, 
uh, they think you're proud. It's not about pride. It's about normal position of your head. You see, when the people stand straight, like, that's like, just their like, completely like, normal like, position. Like this. It's completely normal mm -hmm. position. And so what uh, we get um, taught through computers, mobiles, we get like that, like that, like that. You see, our head tilts on the floor. So when we look in the floor, we cannot see the real world around us and our mind uh, become narrower. Uh, we can only see the be, floor. There's got to be a reason about this too, because some people walk like this and they yeah. can't help it. They yeah. have to look yeah. down. So when they look up, they're like this. Yeah. Therefore, suggestion for you while you're not really <clears throat> fixed with your back and you still mm. can look up. Yeah. You look up, you look in the sky, you look in the clouds passing by, you look... You can see the birds, you, you can just be so much happier when you look up. And that gives you more creativity yeah. and mind, um, clear mind. I, I know some people walk like this. Good morning. Everybody looked at And different. I'm not joking. But the point is that yeah. uh, watch your back, how mm -hmm. um, straight you stand, how deep you breathe, what's in your mind. And that's what we should be doing. We now, I said here in that song, living like walking in heaven mm. on earth. In heaven there will be no mobiles. That's right. I, I had yeah. the most magnificent dream. <clears throat> um, like I was, you know, looking at the big sea and the dream. And the waves were so beautiful and they were magnificent colors. And I was just like so amazed with that sea. And I was look, not like on earth because when you see sea it's miles away somewhere. And he was like it's so close but it's not touching you. And then somebody was talking to me. I'm not sure who it was. And, and I had company of somebody, you know, in heaven always when you have dreams, there's always somebody there with you, yeah? Um, somebody like assisting you. Right? And um, and then I said, uh, and then they were talking to me. I don't remember about all that, but something peaceful. And then when I saw this, I said, I'm going to get the, the camera now, I'm going to capture these waves. Mm. And you know what? I'm turning around and it's like a ladder there like this, uh, going to nowhere. And then I realized there's no camera in heaven. And I said to myself how foolish I was to stop my conversation with that person who talked to me and prioritize instrument like a camera on top of conversation mm -hmm. with an important person. No, let's say in heaven, like, no, imagine you're in heaven, even if you're in a dream for a little while. Can you see how when you put instrument, mobile, telephone, and you stop conversation with a person who is with you and they're not it. focusing yeah. on it, you stop it straight away. Mm. And so when I said to the person there in the dream that I'm going to get the camera so I can photograph this beautiful water, conversation stopped and the person disappeared. It was the end of a dream. Yeah. So yeah. I realized that I'm addicted to my camera. Mm -hmm. I realized that one thing I have to be unaddicted from is my camera. So it means when when people talk to you, mm. you should not be only filming in front of them all the time. Yeah, yeah. Because I notice, you know, uh, it's a big temptation while people talking to you or uh, being engaged with you and you're filming that mm. and you're filming that or you're texting that and you're texting that. You're not really engaged in conversation. So people really feel that you're withdrawing them from your mm -hmm. um, audience. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, it's a good advice for you. I hope you can find it useful. But now I realize that I should film when I'm by myself and when it's really important, not just when I'm engaged with an important conversation, especially by the near beautiful ocean or most likely very close to heaven mm -hmm. because only there is such a beautiful thing. Yeah. And then I see the same sea, but all of a sudden it was not that clear and there's a big alligator in that sea, there's the biggest crocodile in the world, you can see, oh my god, like 50 mm -hmm. meters long. And he's like waiting quietly on the shore. And before that, there was a person who was swimming there when the waters were clean. And I was like, oh my goodness, you can't swim here, you know? Mm. And then the alligator then slowly walked away. But the amount and the size of the alligator was so huge. So uh, dreams sometimes warning us that we should not be involved with negative people. Yeah. Why? Because they can uh, swallow us swallow us mm. in this sphere of negativity and then you get stuck and you can't get out mm. yeah that's right so therefore yeah, be yeah. careful where yeah, you yeah. go with whom you speak and try to be pure and try to read good books try to stay around in your own house you don't need to go to different people places to try to find problems mm. or expose yourself to more uh, pro pro problems or just go for a dangerous bushwalk 
because you don't you can't guarantee yeah, your safety yeah, yeah. so you've got to be prudent especially now you know in the 2024 and um, your purity comes number one priority your pure mind your kindness your love so you have to um, look after it it's just like a beautiful orchid flower in your room you won't be just going and giving there and giving there mm -hmm. and giving there and put in a storm and, and then mm. put in a swearing company, a smoker's company, yeah, and a pub's company. And a lovely place. Yeah, you, mm. exactly. You will actually yeah. find for okay mm. the most beautiful place and nobody can touch, nobody can break. And you like embracing it. So mm. how much more you should embrace your own dignity and beauty and yourself and your integrity and everything, all those qualities. So therefore, please look after it. That's the most important thing in your life. Mm. And then you'll be truly happy. And... Um, truly achieving huge results. Thank you for listening. It was Ludmila yeah. Alexei Navarro and Peter Palmer today in the and, studio. And the dogs who are having their opinion. And of too. course my beautiful dogs. <laughs> and they're actually waiting to have audience with me right now. Yeah. They, want, so they want to be on camera, you see. Yes, thank you. I've never heard them like that before.